Hey guys, long time no play. Um, so, uh, the next game I'm gonna play this game is The Crooked Man, which was recommended to me by a friend, and I don't know, I hadn't really heard of it until she told me about it. Um, so, let's see here. It is a horror adventure game created by some person named Uri. Yuri? Something like that. Um, it's a wolf RPG game, um, and the summary here is David Hoover decides to move into a new apartment during a rough time in his life. After some odd occurrences, he decides to ask about the room's former owner, but learns little. So he sets off in search of him, strangely compelled to know more about this man. I don't know why you would want to know. I mean, I guess that's why it's a strange compulsion, because it doesn't make any sense, but um I guess it'll be freaky and fun, so um hopefully I don't, I don't know, have nightmares or something, we'll see um let's see, anything else um sudden surprises and grotesque imagery so I guess we'll just start Yep, the weak of heart and those poor with horror should not play. No responsibility for any trouble that arises from playing this game. Um, okay, I guess. Not sure what that could mean. But. There was a crooked man and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked stile. He bought a crooked cat which caught a crooked mouse. And they all live together in a crooked little house. Whew! Finally things look tidy in here. That should be it. Is there anything else we can help with, David? Nah, I'm fine. Sorry for making you guys help me move. And thanks for showing me the place, Paul. I'll have to pay you back sometime. Ooh, nice! The three of us could go out drinking. I look forward to it already. Well, we'd better get going. Got it. Be careful, you two. What's that crack in the wall? It's interesting. Okay, I have never played RPG Maker games, so I don't know what the controls are. Huh? Sheesh, Paul forgot his license. I should get it to him if he's still around. Got Paul's license. Old TV. What's this? Large crack in the wall. That's all you have to say on it. Next tissues, phone. Oh, I guess you just. Alright. Wow. Well, those were the most useful descriptions in the game. Old computer. How many clothes? Cute tub. This is a shower? How does that... Is that like a shower head? Oh. Is that a roll of toilet paper up there? Don't want to go. Wash basin. Washing machine. Alright. Well, I guess we should get Paul his license. Hmm? You hear someone. What's with that place? Seriously. It's filthy. It's practically falling apart. What were you thinking? He wanted to move for a change of pace, and that will not help him, you hear? Look, what can I do? He's not the richest guy, you know. Can't even afford much furniture. Besides, you told me to look for the place, right? Don't come complaining to me now. You're right. I'm sorry. I just wanted to help David out. I know. Look, I should be sorry. We'll visit some other time. The talking gets distant. Hmm. The license can wait, I guess. Better get to bed. What? No reason to go out? David. That license is kind of important. And... And wait. Well... We're in bed. 
What do you want me to do? Was the phone ringing? I can't hear anything. Hello? Hello? Who is this? Shirley? I'll just call it a day. I should take it easy for my first day in the new place. David, you haven't done anything. What do you- Man, I'm tired. You just pass out. Okay, David. Okay. I'm not sure how I feel about you. Ugh, really? Is that somebody crying? I can't sleep through this. It's the middle of the night, right? Is it one of my neighbors? I should go compl- Go complain? Why can't you just- They're crying and you're gonna complain? God damn it, David. Okay, well now we see this is what the outside looks like. We're room 205. 206 looks to be empty even though we just looked at the nameplate. 203 is empty. What? Well, I guess they're all empty except for 201, but... Nothing to do on the first floor but explore. You know. Yes? Who is it at this hour? Pardon me. It's just... I can hear you from my room, even. It's making it hard to sleep. Would you stop? You're so inconsiderate if she's cr- Huh? What are you saying? I was asleep until you woke me up. Are you trying to start something? Yeah, David, are you trying to start something? You're the guy who moved into 205, right? There's no way you'd hear me from there. Uh, I guess so. S sorry for waking you. Bye now. You're so socially awkward, David. She's right. The rooms are pretty far apart. More importantly, it was a man's voice- God damn it. Was it just my imagination? David, whatever. I better get back to sleep. David, you obviously aren't the brightest crayon. Hold on. The volume's too loud for me. This would make me uncomfortable. Um, sounds like running water. What? This is so unnerving! Okay. What? What's that sound? I don't know, there's a crack in the wall. I don't want to look at the box of tissues! I want to look outside! But David doesn't want to look outside! Okay, okay. We're going to bed. We're not going to bed. What do you want me to look at? Obviously, the only thing I didn't check in the bathroom. Yikes, the water! Is the faucet busted? Hmm? Well, uh, fuck that! Under the bed? Is Paul trying to prank me? Talk about bad taste. <sighs> Hold on. What's that 30 out of- Item. Pulse license. Cigarettes. Lighter. Cell phone. I can't use the lighter for... You know what? Fine. I didn't want to use it anyways. How do we check under the bed? No? There's... Under the bed, huh? What's down here? I don't know what's down there! Hmm? Found something. Oh. It's just a harmless scrap from a notebook. Ever since she went away, I've spent every night clutching my sweaty pillow and writhing. I can't say goodbye. What other choice do I have? What's this? Did the former tenant leave this? Oh, whatever. I'll get to bed, David said for the fiftieth time. 
David, who does nothing in his life but think about going to bed? <sighs> that sound still? Where is that coming from? Give me a break. I need to sleep. Yeah, David's sleep is very important to him. It's the only thing he's got going for him. Cell phone. Not cell phone. Telephone. Okay. Hello? Uh, yeah, thanks for all the... No. No, I didn't mean just... I'm busy with work, so... Yes, I'll come visit today. Tell her that for me. Okay, bye. Man, I slept in to noon. Well, are you sure? Because the clock kind of looks like it says nine, and it still looks dark outside. I'd better go. So much for taking it easy. You slept in till noon, and you're complaining about taking it easy? Damn it, David. Oh, who's this? Oh, Paul. Paul, what is it? Y yeah, uh, you have his license. Yeah, I forgot my license yesterday. Was it on the table? Oh, yeah, this. Sorry, I was gonna bring it to you, but... Whew, thanks. So, you going somewhere? He says, completely ignoring that, like, David was talking? Yeah, to the hospital. I see. Take care of yourself, buddy. Oh, yeah, Paul, did you write something on the bathroom mirror? Huh? <laughs> write on the mirror? What kind of childish brat do you take me for, David? Well there. Well there. David never said that he thought you were a brat. S sorry I didn't mean it like that. Obvious- what? Anyway, I'm off. The people in this game take everything so personally, so angry. Let's check all these again. No need to go in here. Who knows what that is? It's people laughing. Landscape painting. Still no need. I just wanted to- obviously we're the last room. Mom's hospital room. Hi, Mom. Can't move. Except now he's moving. Okay, David. Damn it, David. Mom. It's been a while. Are you doing okay? No, I'm dying. Oh, my. If it isn't little Timmy, you've certainly grown. Good. You look healthy. Sorry I can't see you very much. I've been busy with work and sleeping. But I took a few days off, so I moved to this great room with furniture and everything. What? Did you used to live in a cardboard box? It's near your favorite cake shop, too. So, when you get better, we can live there together. My, it's wonderful. Get along with Linda, will you? All that fighting you do worries me so. Maybe I can come visit you sometime. You like apple pie, don't you? I'll make the best I know how. Mom, I'm not Timmy. I'm your son, David, remember? Oh yes, they opened a bakery the other day. It smells so wonderful. Maybe I should buy from there. Mom. Oh? Who would you be? Why are you here? How did you get in? This is my room. Do you have the wrong room? Wh who are you? Say something, will you? M M oh shit. Get out! I'll have you thrown out! Somebody! Somebody! There's a strange man in my room! Get rid of him now! Mrs. Hoover! Mrs. Hoover, don't strain yourself. Please. Go to sleep, okay? Who are you? Don't touch me! Get away! Now calm down, miss. Let's get you into bed. I'm sorry, David. Leave your mother to us. You'll have to leave for today. Understood. Take good care of her. Poor David. Davy? Is that my Davy boy? Where are you going? Why are you leaving me? M Mom! Your flight school exams are coming up. You want to be a pilot, don't you? Your mother always has your back, except when she doesn't recognize you and yells at you to, like, leave. Jesus. Please, don't leave me alone. I don't want to be alone here. Davy, please. 
Mom! It's me, remember? Mom! David, please leave. She's very confused right now, even though she just recognized you. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave, even though this is probably the first time she's recognized you in a while. B but she said my... I said leave! Shit. <laughs> Shit. Mrs. Hoover, please calm down. Bring the sedatives! Well, isn't that traumatizing? Well, who are you? Hello, David. Did you see your mother? Yeah, though I guess she still doesn't know me. Yes, she's forgotten many things and she's having trouble controlling her emotions. I ask you to be patient. She may well get better so you can live with her again. Thanks. I hope you can help her. And we flash back to the apartment, I guess. Can we talk to this lady here? I should apologize later. You aren't very good at doing things right now, are you, David? What the fuck was that? Yes? Oh. Did I move that chair? Hmm. Something in the drawer. A leaflet for a school. Looks pretty old. Hmm. These LLM courses are circled. Was somebody shooting to be a lawyer? I guess this must be the former tenants. He sure forgot a bunch of stuff. Maybe no furniture is better after all, huh? What is your fixation on furniture, David, and sleeping? God damn it, who's calling? It's nine o'clock at night. Hello? Hey, David. How are you doing? <laughs> you just saw me yesterday. I'm doing fine, thanks. Good, good. Call if you're ever lonely, okay? By the way, I got a call from Shirley yesterday. We didn't really talk, but... Sorry, I told her your number. She said she was so worried about you. It's okay. Tell her I don't need her worry. She should just look out for herself. Alright. Well, I'll hang up now. Alright, see ya. Well, that was a strange conversation. I'm tired of reading. I should go to bed. What were you reading? Is this... Coffee, you should clean up. David, put your books away. David, put your cup away. David. David. There are important things in life other than sleeping. Like putting your cups away. But. Oh well. Okay. I guess. Bet it is. What the actual fuck. Ah! Uh, no, 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 no! Uh, wh why did it turn on by itself? Is it broken? Ah, uh, hell no. Ah, uh, hell no. Ah, uh, fucking hell! <sighs> well, what? This is creepy. Did it say sink? What was that? What's a sink? Is that a furniture? Can I sleep in it? David asks the important questions. Mm hmm. There's a scrap of paper under here. Got a scrap of paper. There was a crooked man. There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence against a crooked stile. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse. And they all lived together in a crooked... Little crooked house. I wrote in that poem. Isn't this another goose rhyme? Why is this here under the sink? I guess the previous tenant... Hmm, this is so strange. I should sleep and forget about it. I guess sleeping is to David what alcohol is for other people. Go!